Hello and welcome to Season 2 Spark Edition of Investment Insider presented by Invest Langor. My name is Cynthia Ng, your host for this series. As Malaysia's leading investment destination, Selangor continues to attract top domestic and foreign companies seeking a point of entry into Malaysia and even more, a springboard to ASEAN. In this series, we want to take a closer look at Selangor's industrial master plan and its plans to position itself as the destination for high-value manufacturing in this region. Now, it is my pleasure to welcome the Menteri Besar of Selangor, Datuk Sri Amiruddin Shari, on the show. Thank you for being with us, Datuk Sri. Now, firstly, congratulations to Selangor. A strong performance for last year in terms of investment, 18.4 billion ringgit in total for 2020, putting Selangor at the top once again for the third straight year, now despite the current global pandemic situation. So let's start with that, Datuk Sri. How ready is Selangor to go beyond its current limitations to continue to stay ahead as an economic powerhouse? The state government understand the current economic and health challenge, especially in highly the populated state like in Selangor. We are working hard to break the chain of the outbreak to ensure that both challenges can be overcome successfully. We are always ready to complement the efforts by the federal government by assisting in identifying key areas of the outbreak in running mass, mass testing and at the same time providing stimulus packages at the state level. On top of that, the state also introduced Selangor Innovation Fund to spur and growth of startup in the state through venture capital investment and SME digitalization matching grant to help SMEs digitalizing their business operation. Clearly, you have a well-thought plan in place, Dato Sri. So let's get more into those plans. Apart from the focus on industrial parks, what other developments and ongoing projects are there in the state that you think will help propel Selangor to be not just Malaysia, but ASEAN's gateway for business? As part of our Global Trading Hub initiative, Selangor organized its annual Selangor International Business Summit, or in short, SIBS. This trade and investment forum is meant to be the networking event that will gather key decision makers and manufacturers in a single event here in Malaysia. This networking event, which normally receives around 30,000 trade visitors and participants from Asia region, creates the needed marketing channel for participants in using Selangor as their gateway to Asia. On top of that, Selangor will also be hosting the state first aviation show the Selangor Aviation Show 2021 will play an important role in bridging the ultimate platform for aerospace industry players, especially in business and general aviation sectors, to network and to explore potential investment and partners, regionally and domestically. Making Selangor the ASEAN Business and General Aviation Hub. So aerospace and aviation, that sounds like a great plan. Can you also share with us, Dato Sri, what industries are the largest contributors to the state and which of those has the greatest potential for future expansion? Uh, thank you, Cynthia. According to Malaysia Investment Development Authority, or MAIDA, in 2016-2020, electric and electronic, or EE, remain as one of the key sectors that receive inward investment in the state with a total investment of 8.8 .8 billion ringgit Malaysia. Transport equipment sector, which includes subsectors such as aerospace industries, has also gained more interest from the investor in the same duration. Interestingly, new interest in the industry of paper products have emerged at the same time with the current pandemic situation rubber glove and medical related product manufacturers within the state have also expanded their operation and invested significantly through our strategy to assist domestic economic activities during this hard time together with our continuous effort in bringing in fdis into the state i am very optimistic that selangor will continue to grow economically 
and remain as the golden state of Malaysia and a major contributor for our GDP or Malaysia GDP as more than 23% for the past five years. Thank you so much, Datu Sri, for coming on the show and sharing insights into your plans on making Selangor the top destination for investment again. Now, coming up, we speak to figures behind the scene responsible for making Selangor the preferred destination among investors. Stay with us. Welcome back to Investment Insider, brought to you by Invest Selangor. Joining me right now is Datuk Teng Chang Kim, Selangor State Executive Councillor for Industry and Trade. Hello Datuk, it's great to have you on the show again. Now in this edition, I'm sure you're aware, we like to focus on industrial parks in Selangor. The increasing number of investors each year has prompted many developers to build industrial parks in the state. Now looking at the potential at hand, Selangor is aggressively in the process of changing the status of several areas to be developed into new industrial parks. Where are we at this moment, if you can share with us, Dato? Uh, yes, we are looking at the three areas, which is uh, Klang, Kuala Langat and Sepang District. These three areas have been identified as the new industrial area in collaboration with the private developers. And these areas will be able to cater to the demand for the development of industry due to their proximity to the strategic positions of ports and airports in the state, as well as the availability of the talent. We we'll continue to position Selangor as the leading business destination in Malaysia. And that sounds very promising, certainly. I would like to also hone in on Kuala Langat because I understand that the district has been identified as one of Selangor's major new industrial areas to be developed in collaboration with private developers. How will this industrial area, Dato, if you can share with us, propel Selangor further as a valuable investment destination and what kind of interest are you anticipating from industry players? Kuala Langat District has been actively developed into industrial district over the last few years. There were several private developers who started to develop the district and as a result, a number of key investors agreed to start operating in that area. Many of these industrial park operators are also planning to expand their industrial parks in the district. In total, we are anticipating more than 1,800 acres to be developed in Kuala Langat in the next five years. And with that size, we are able to attract bigger industry players to consider Kuala Langat district to be the next growth area. That's certainly exciting development at Kuala Langat. It is already poised to be one of the largest industrial parks in Selangor. Dato, can you share with us what are the enticing factors in place to get private developers to develop the industrial park? And similarly, what incentives are there for investors to choose Selangor as their investment destination? Selangor has outlined a standard guideline for the management of industrial areas for managed industrial park guidelines where future industrial parks will be managed efficiently with new features to provide better services to companies setting up manufacturing plants in Slango. Industrial parks will become an essential part of our manufacturing-related investment strategy and is expected to be rolled out as soon as uh, somewhere near the third quarter of 2021. Uh, as the fiscal incentives are governed by the federal government, Selangor alone are not able to provide uh, or offer any kind of incentive directly to either the park operators or to the investors coming into the state. However, through Invest Selangor, the state offers full assistance and facilitation services to investors in managing their project implementation, especially with the local uh, government. Thank you so much, Datuk Teng, for speaking with us and we wish you all the best with your plans for Selangor. Next up, we are excited to have the CEO of Invest Lango, Dato Hassan Azhari Idris, on the show. He joins me to talk about building a favorable ecosystem for businesses to thrive in the state. Stay with us.
Welcome back to Investment Insider with me, Cynthia Ng. Dato Hassan Azhari Idris, CEO of Invest Langor Berhad, joins us right now. Thank you so much for being with us, Dato Hassan. Invest Langor, as we know, plays a very crucial role in helping companies wanting to set up or expand their businesses in the state. What can we understand about their needs, Dato Hassan, and how do you continually make Selangor a conducive environment for investors? Invest Selangor believes that it is crucial to bolster the aftercare aspects of its services to foreign investors in order to restore confidence and retain their presence. And it is a key for us to ensure that the facilitation process will not stop once the investor made the decisions to invest in the state. The influx of uh, investors in Selangor has also promoted the development of industrial parks within the state. Special economic zones have been uh, designated industrial parks and areas to promote industrial activity. Like, uh, created as a one-stop industrial park, managed as a part of MIT, is built with an uh, integrated and managed concept, blessed with excellent amenities, high-speed fiber optic broadband, as well as power, water and natural gas utilities are catered for operators in the fully gated and guarded enclave that utilities top-notch equipment for 24-hour CCTV surveillance and uh, security control. The planning and buildings of managed in the park are designed according to the criteria of the Slime State Planning Standards Guideline to ensure maximum efficiency and sustainability. Besides that, uh, the managed in the park has a dedicated in-house maintenance team to keep the surrounding clean, tidy and maintain to ensure that the industrial park common area is maintained at the top function. Without a doubt, the initiatives in place Dato has shown success as Langor has risen to become an economic powerhouse in Malaysia, plus becoming an increasingly important hub for manufacturing and services players too. Moving forward, Dato, what are your strategies to keep Selangor as the preferred destination for investment, not just Malaysia, but also in the region? Invest Selangor uh, understands that joint efforts and uh, support between the state government and the industry today, as well as any related stakeholders, are crucial in establishing favorable investor relations. Apart from uh, investment promotions and project implementation facilitation service, Offered, Selangor has an investment ecosystem in place to attract industries to call Selangor their home. Selangor boasts about 3.6 million workforce who are largely skilled and multilingual, many of whom are university graduates. And this is also another advantage to foreign companies, especially for those that are planning to use Selangor as their gateway to ASEAN market. Thank you, Datuk Hassan, for sharing your plans in propelling Selangor further as the investment destination in Malaysia and the gateway to ASEAN. You have been watching Investment Insider with me, Cynthia Ng. We hope you have enjoyed the discussion and we'll see you again in the next episode. Selangor is the most attractive investment destination. Find out how we can assist you at www.investlangor.my. Join us again in the next episode.